And we're back, fellow knife enthusiasts. This time we've got new blades from Wee, Savivi, Buck, and, and Heretic Knives. So let's not sit here and gab. Or chin wag. Ooh. Let's talk about the table. Okay, up first is the Savivi Rifle Liner Lock. I like this design personally. Reminds me a lot of the Savivi Shredder, one of my personal favorites. And we went all out this time. We got the two most impressive versions. <laughs> yep, we got the twill carbon fiber overlay on Black G10 one, and the sandalwood handle with the mask. Both have Damascus steel, of course. You sure that's rifle, not riffle? I'm going rifle. I thought rifle had one F. You know what? I'll say it how I darn well. However, please. if you, for some unknown reason, don't care about Damascus, there's also Micarta versions. Mm -hmm. One with a 14C 28N gray stone wash blades. They are offered in brown micarta, olive green micarta, and dark green micarta, like the one we got here. Mm. So the Damascus steel ones feature black stainless steel liners, while the micarta one offers gray stainless steel liners. Mm. The Riffles blades are deployed using the flipper stud or thumb hole. Okay, can we please retire that thumb slot? That's uh -huh. what we're using from this point forward. Okay, thumb okay. slot. That's what we're going with. So, 3.46 inch blade, has some spine jimping here to allow for precision cutting and operates on caged ceramic ball bearings. It also has a flat grind and a gray stone wash. Overall, this liner lock is 7.98 inch, inches overall and offers a tip up right and left carry pocket clip. And finally, it starts at just 5525 right here at AtlanticKnife.com. Thank you. Mm -hmm. 8925 for the Damascus Oh, yes, guys. the higher level. Yeah. So, what do you think? I like it. I mean, it's not groundbreaking or anything, but I would definitely get one, especially this one. I like the carbon fiber one too, but I kind of like the sandalwood one. They're Civivi, so good quality, and there's lots of options to choose mm -hmm. from. No complaints. What about you? I'm in the same category. I like the sound of nice. one also. Nice know. Damascus. It, it is, is real Damascus. I'm not Are sure what sure? steel it's rolled with, but sure it is a real with. Damascus. I don't know. I think they're nice. I like the size. I like how you hold them. I like their design on their flipper stud. I also like that on their Micarta one, it appears they have a Micarta backspacer Ooh. as well. So they kind of carried it throughout. And I think they did the... No, they didn't do the same thing with the other ones. Uh, kind of disappointing, but you know. Little. I still like the McCarter one, though. Gotcha. That's nice. Okay, so. All right. Next blade up. The Wee Oss Dagger. Capital O-S-S. Not to be confused with the lowercase O-S-S. Yeah, we were told specifically that it's capital O-S-S. Why? We don't know. Nope. But it could be a signature greeting of combat sports, a generic term derived from Japanese martial arts. An enthusiastic way of saying yes, like U.S. Marines say, um... Oh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, center, center of a woman. Okay. Oorah. Anyways. Well, the Wii Ostagger comes in five different versions. Teeny, teenier, and teeniest. No. I'm just kidding. No. That's funny. No. One size right now. We're only stocked with three. All right. So we got the blackout one. There's a gray and black, mm -hmm. and then a green and black. We have the blackout and the green and black, of course. Overall, this dagger is 4.3 inch overall with a 2.22 CPM 20 CV steel dual edge blade. He's a hefty fella. It's got a chisel grind. <laughs> a stone wash finish and comes in at about 5960, call it 61 on the HRC scale. That's, that's great. Good work. Okay, handle has a G10 inlay. Though the color varies depending on which version you choose. It also comes with a, because we're lazy, we left them in the bags, the black Kydex sheath, steel ball chain, and of course a molly lock. whole thing was designed by Justin Lundquist. What was it look for? What? What? The C? Yes. Uh, oh, well, they won't see it because you won't cut to it anyway. Yeah, okay. And it's offered at AtlanticKnife.com. <laughs> For just 8925. There it is. Okay, I will let you go first. You'll let me go first. Awesome. I'll let you go first. Wow. I will do okay, let's do good cop, bad cop. I'll be bad cop. What? No, 
I want to be a good cop. That's not fair. Ugh. Fine, I'll be good cop. Okay, great. It reminds me of the little wooden spoon you get with your ice cream cup when you're a kid. And who didn't love those cups? Oh, I love them. Oh, so, so we're going to do a, a back and forth good cop, bad cop. Well, isn't okay. that usually, I, okay. I, I'd listen to him. If it were you. a letter opener. Can you put the gun away? Do not shoot at the man's crotch. <laughs> Look away so you can pass the polygraph. Look away. <laughs> ah, God. Yeah. Hold on. I am my <laughs> Walther pointed at you. Oh, I'm sorry. This is how the British do it. My fault. All right. I don't know. Other than that, okay. It's nice. It's... I mean, they look nice. Oh, I'm sure they would be. Good cop, bad I'm cop. sure they Stop would be highly effective in a. All I had was they look nice. God. <laughs> I don't know. You go ahead. Okay, look. They are nice knives. They're pretty sharp. I like the dual edge part. On the back, they have the logo of We, which I thought was cool. I mean, look at that. Come on. Uh, it's an interesting neck carry because it is a neck knife, so you don't want a huge neck knife. That brings us to the budget box. <laughs> Will you let me? I was not floundering. I was just. It has jimping on the side too, don't so be you can kind of hold it like this. I'm not sure. No, I guess you could if you needed to. You could use it as a self-defense. I item. think you would use a pinch grip. A pinch grip. Yeah, here, let me show you. Don't. This is it, because your thumb goes right there. It's got little there you go. grips right there. It's like, how no. much soft do you want? A pinch. <laughs> this is not fair. I wanted to be back. You <laughs> took it from me. All right. Okay. I so now we're going to move on to the budget bucks. They're just different. And we'll go start off with uh, what the Odessa, the Haxby, and uh, the Decatur. I'm going to move them. All right. So we don't get stabbed. You mean pricked? Sure. That's, that's what I meant. Go ahead. On to a... Uh, Eternal sleep there. All right. Okay, so we're gonna go with the what did you say? We the, got the Odessa, the, the Haxby, and the Decatur. Decatur. Just some budget-friendly EDCs we thought you guys would like to see. But first, we, we would like to hit these. But first, I very much appreciate it for falling for me. Okay. All right. Very much appreciate if you guys would hit those like, share, comment, and subscribe buttons. Along with ringing the bell. That way, you're always close to the best knife and outdoor gear source out there. And so you can be entered to win free knives in our giveaways. Speaking of giveaways, mm -hmm. if you like, share, comment, and subscribe, you'll be entered to win this artisan kinetic tool on YouTube with G10 handles, not mm -hmm. carbon fiber. Not carbon fiber. G10. And if you head over to AtlanticKnife.com's blog and answer the AK trivia question, you'll be automatically entered to win this titanium blue kubi. Yes, this blue titanium kubi. We are not letting you choose your own color. Uh, I know where this I'm is going. I'm so sorry. This okay? is my mother-in-law. Good, good this... lead. Good lead. <sighs> She won the Publishers Clearinghouse this week. No, she didn't. Yes, this guy called. She's moving out. Said you won $5 million. Oh my God. And what color would you like your Mercedes? <laughs> she didn't sell them, did she? Beige. Just like her Corolla. Oh, my God. Yeah. Do they make beige Mercedes? Coming at 2.30 on Thursday. Guess what happened at 2.31 on Thursday? You got a call? No, she did. She got a call. Yeah, from us. Where's your Mercedes? <laughs> Publishers guys outside. He wasn't. Can you believe that? I mean, you know, he even left the number so you could call the publisher's guy oh and verify. God. But he did need her to pay the taxes on the, on the first million. tranche of money first. Was it? It was coming in tranches. It was like annuity. Oh, mm -hmm. well, smart. One yeah, percent. I think it came to nine ninety nine ninety nine. Something hmm. like that. That's a decent price when you're getting five million dollars in a beige Mercedes. Yeah, no, I'm telling you. Delivered to you. Can't beat that. And I have a question. Mm. Did they ask her if she's like going to be on TV or anything? Or she asked them? Yes. Oh, you know, you, <laughs> you are all about the lead today, aren't Am you? I? Yeah. I just need to put a leash on. Uh, um, oh, do you? <laughs> yes. I think you should be careful. Yes. Right they that, asked her if she wanted it to be public or private. That was part of their spiel oh, or wow. shtick. I went with spiel Sh and shtick. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. And what about uh, anything else? I thought, I thought you said something about how they told her not to tell... Oh, don't tell her family members because they could become jealous. And due to the amount of money she would be receiving, they might act a little weird. Bad things happen. Yeah, you know, you didn't want her to be murdered. Yeah, don't tell your family yeah. or anyone you else see why about she's this call. Okay. Yeah. What the right. freak? 
Oh man, we gotta go back to the box. Tell you the day when she come home and said my hot water heater's leaking over there. No. I said, hey, did you turn the water off? I don't know how to do that. See, been there all over all day, and the hot water's been leaking all over the garage. All right. There's there's a shut off. Then you go over to Mar, call me. I'll tell you how to shut it off. Oh my God. Okay, let's let's go back to the box. I'm all right. Running, let's hit him real quick. Are you okay. ready? Yes. So the Odessa frame lock has a stainless steel handle, a tip up pocket clip, three and one eighth inch. 7CR satin finish steel drop point blade, mm -hmm. which can be opened with a dual thumb stud or a regular flipper stud. Mm, it's about seven and a half stud. inches overall. Finally, it's only twenty five forty eight. Here, here. At landknife.com. Very good. So, next is the Buck Haxby, one of the nicest bucks I've seen in a while. Mm -hmm. Features a tip up pocket clip. A 3.6 inch 7CR drop point steel blade with a satin finish, which is deployed through the flipper stud. There it is. It's also 8.8 .8 inches overall. Features an orange pivot cap cover accent, a lanyard hole. And finally, this liner lock has a carbon fiber handle. What? And this one is only $39.84 from Lagnatch.com. There it is. The final buck we're going to hit, and we're doing these quickly because you know, yep. they're the budgets, we wanted to hit them for you. Before we tell you uh, what we think, it is the Decatur. Available in two versions, Black G10 and, Joel's going to love this, Gubaritia. How'd I do? Gubaritia? I don't know. It I ain't saying sound very that you, African. You would. Oh, I was going with Espanol. No. I don't speak African. Is African the I don't know, dialect? Do I don't I think they got no, I think they have their own. Uh, each country kind of has its own. I was thinking each tribe. Is that a little? No, I don't think that's what they do. It. No, no, no tribe I think they have cities language. and stuff like we do, kind of. Kind of. Yeah. Isn't it a third world? Larger country? areas. It's a third world country, though. Well, it's got, a continent. They got third world countries over yes, there. Yes, but they have like Nigeria has large continent. countries. Okay. Do you hear him? Or patronizing it me? could be Ovenko wood. It's West African wood. Okay, that's all you need to know. She just wanted me to pronounce them wrong because she knew I would. <laughs> I, Will you hear mine? I mean, mine was Gubarishia. You got African wood. wood. It's West I got Gubarishia. Overall, this knife is 8.25 inches and features a satin finished 7 CR stainless steel drop point blade. What? Big surprise there. Mm -hmm. That's 3.5 inches. Opened with the flipper stud. I thought we had the brown. Nice. nice weekend. Finally, this letter lock has a tip up pocket clip and is only $32.84 at Atlantic Knife. Dot com. Okay. I'm going to go first this time. Yes. I really like the carbon fiber one. You go Obvious there. reasons because it's got carbon fiber. Mm -hmm. But it's different from Buck's usual blades. Okay? Oh, the whole thing? Sorry. Go ahead. Yeah. I mean, I've seen a few other of their other knives have carbon fiber. Like, I think they did the Apex, the Nobleman, the Legacy. Mm -hmm. And I think one of the Sprints had a carbon fiber type handle. But this one, this one is big, it's bold, and it's a Buck. So I really can't find fault with it. But however, I also like the Decatur because it's kind of a slightly bulkier version of the uh, the CRKT CEO. Mm -hmm. And that was a really popular liner. So I feel like people would like this one too because it's just a little bit bigger. Because the other one was like a real slim gentleman's carry. And I feel like this one's, you know, more manly sized. Mm -hmm. I'm not crazy about the Odessa. I'm Stainless doesn't really equate to good grip for me, but... Some people might like it because they can just, you know. Well, I think all of these have a purpose. Yeah. This one here is obviously to compete with the Cryos of Kershaw. Mm -hmm. It's a frame lock. Looks very similar. That one. CRKT CEO. CEO. This one right here. That one kind of looks like a CGRB. Or an artisan. That's an exactly artisan. what I was thinking. Yeah. You know, same kind of, uh, this could be a Centros. You know. I think it's so a little better it's than the Centros. It's got some little copper style washers, yeah. that you, washers that you like. Ooh, oh my. Pippa Cap wrong. accent. Mm -hmm. That was nice. But overall... I'm, I'm a fan of them. I think they're all good options for the price. And Buck has really strong uh, background basis of good, usable work knives. So. Mm -hmm. Okay. That does lead us to our last knife on the table. The reason you are all here. The coup de grace. The big enchilada. The cherry on top. The move of my mother-in-law, if you will. It's the, speaking of mother-in-law, it's the Heretic Knives Medusa. Ah, oh, now we're just going to address what everyone is probably thinking. This knife is not named after my mother-in-law. Not inspired is by her that, Is that what they were thinking? Mm -hmm. Is it really? Yeah, because then it would be ugly and fall apart. Ouch. I didn't mean physically. 
and invested in beige Mercedes that don't exist. <laughs> so, if your thoughts weren't preoccupied by you know, C's mother-in-law, I thought to myself, possible? does Lexus make a convertible? I got it. Okay. If you weren't preoccupied with C's mother-in-law, you are probably wondering what the price tag is attached to this. You guys aren't already familiar. Heretic Knives is kind of a lower-end Medford range. Like $300, $400. I think the most one I've seen was like $468 mm. or something like that. Least expensive one was probably the Heretic Chimera, $194.95 at AlliantKnife.com. Bam. I believe how... Anyways, this one starts at $316.95. However, however, the Medusa isn't super new. It was released last year. So, this is the first time I was getting this one. Yeah. So they had it in their 2020 yes, catalog. Yes, but yeah. now it's available in purple. Wow. Okay. And it gets better. Just just hold on to your hats. There's a variety of choices of color in terms. They got a, the purple one, of course, and they got the green and black. You can choose to have the black Cerakote finish or a battle-worn stone wash, or you can either have partial serrations or none. Oh, hey, if you got battle-worn stone wash or yeah. combos, yeah. I'm in. Exactly. So... I'll do the specs if you don't mind. Okay. All this is right. where it gets better, guys. Okay. So, as we said, offered in a few different versions. This knife is 8 inch overall with a 3.25 inch black Cerakote finish Tanto blade made of S35B and steel. Yep. With lots of jimping. Lots of the handle is purple aluminum with black textured inlay. Mm -hmm. It's also got a jimped backspacer that doubles as a lanyard hole. The blade can be deployed through the jimped flipper stud and thumb slot. Thank it you. has a tip-up pocket clip, and it's... Hold on. Hold on. You go show it? I'm going to show the thumb slot one. Okay. All right. And this entire piece of beautiful art was made in the great old U.S. of A. Which is important. Exactly. And you're never going to have any issues with this knife. No. It's going to come perfect every time you get one. It is. That's what and you're going to it's going to last for. a long time. Yep. I like this knife. So do I. I like it a lot. I like the style of the blade. Mm -hmm. I like the look of it. Not big on the purple. It's okay, but... Don't you be disappointed. Oh, no. Go ahead. Tell us what you think. I love this piece. I, I mean, it. it isn't easily obtained. <laughs> Somebody didn't like me using something else, so I switched it out. But I think it's a good collection piece, but you can still use it as like a pocket knife, tactical carry, or a clubbing device. <laughs> I mean, the options with this knife. Well, we're back to clubbing things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like I said... Fits your hand nicely. It's a nice knife. VN. Yeah, you can't beat that. I like it. High quality. <sighs> now I'm going to put it down. Club it. That was our last knife on the table. It was. Please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. That way you can always be linked to all of this. All these Except knives. Except my mother-in-law. Uh -huh. You will not be linked to her. Of course. I wouldn't do that to anybody. <laughs> That's kind of cruel, actually. Nah. Oh, also, if you like, share, comment, and subscribe, you'll be entered to win the Artisan Kinetic Tool on YouTube. Mm -hmm, with G10 handles. And if you answer the AK Blog trivia question, mm -hmm. you'll be entered to win the blue titanium kubi. Not, Not beige. We're also on social media sites like uh, Facebook, Pinterest, Reddit, YouTube, IGTV, Parlor, and Instagram. I did not give it to you this time. It's no longer your birthday. You no longer have any say over the Instagram. Is that way? It's got two stars, like asterisks. Yes. <laughs> there you can find giveaway wow. info, pictures, and all things AK. With that, I'm C, and this is... Joel. Just Joel, and we are signing off.